Hey guys, today I am going to talk about Alpha Investments. What else can we talk about, right? And the big reveal. The big reveal is MetaZoo is going to go to the moon. Nah, I'm just kidding, guys. MetaZoo ain't going to the moon. Uh, he's dropping MetaZoo because he feels he's uh, text message the owner. And the owner will not text message him back for whatever reason. There might be some stuff that he's left out because he does tend to do that. And all we know is that he will no longer be pushing MetaZoo to the extent that he previously did. He even finally said the truth about MetaZoo. So for Argos out there, for the catch them all collectibles, your savior is no longer around. I'm the only one left. Hmm. So I'm going to have a field day on this. Now, Flesh and Blood, I might give it a go now that he's gone. I have the same response that every single local game store had before he got kicked out by the local game stores. You know, hey, I this guy has his own promo. He has his own play match. He has, you know, he's selling it for lower prices. What about us, man? We keep the lights on. We keep the games going. We have employees who are judges and... We hold events, and we do all the things that you want us to do, yet there's this rogue figure out there who's undercutting us every opportunity he gets. How is that fair? And the answer is not fair. It, it's not fair for a local game. It's the same thing with Magic. If Magic doesn't get its shit together, uh, and they allow Amazon to continue to dump on local game stores, they won't carry Magic. They don't need to carry Magic. They can just do Yu-Gi-Oh! It sounds kind of stupid, but it is what it is, man. There are stores that only do Yu-Gi-Oh! now. And they do Pokemon, and they do Yu-Gi-Oh! And they have a great time. They have a great events. They get great prize support. You know what actually has the best prize support? Uh, Bushy Road. So when you do Weiss, uh, it was used to be Card Fight Vanguard. This was years ago when I had a store. We we were not like a Bushy Road like sponsor or whatever, but they used to send us like a box of promos. And I remember those promos being like pretty good promos, like for the new card games. And I remember Card Fight Vanguard promos that came in booster packs. I mean, they were fun promos to have. And they would just keep sending it to you. <laughs> you know, every month they would send you another batch of promos. Um, local game stores don't need magic. They don't need board game. They don't need any. Now, if you're good to them and magic is giving you good promos, they're giving you good player. Yeah, why not, right? But if you're Meta Zoo and you're buying these boxes for $70 and there's a dude buying boxes for $50 and they're selling online for $120, like Argos, right? He's a partner. To my knowledge, he doesn't have a game store, right? He's just, quote, a partner, whatever that means. Um, no local game store will ever carry this game. No local game store will ever carry Meta Zoo because you're losing $20 a box. And you're supposed to, what, have tournaments and pre-releases. You're supposed to promote the game. Are you kidding me? That stuff is expensive. Like, it would be the same thing as my channel. Like, a local game store promoting a game is the same thing as my channel. Why should I pay you to talk about your thing? I'm either going to talk about it for free because I feel like talking about it. Or, I, if you want a sponsorship, you got to pay me money to say this shit. Because I don't believe it. <laughs> right? That's why I don't take sponsorships. You know, these these dumbass companies keep offering me sponsors. I will if I do a sponsorship, it'll be something I believe in. I actually play, and I'll take the entire payment in cards. I won't take it in cash. I'll take it in cards. That's how much I believe, and I will put my own money into it. Something Alpha Investment has never done. He's only made eighty two hundred dollars a kit. Like you look at these prices of uh, the Monarch kit and the Nightfall kit. And then you look at the fact that he's been kicked out of Flesh and Blood due to the massive complaints. It's not one or two game stores complaining. It's every game store complaining because it's not fair. They're building the game from the player base up. You know, Alpha Investments is like, buy, invest, invest. But and that, that's no longer fun. So why, sh like, if, if, so if these local game stores are the backbone of your game, of course they're going to fret in to quit. And they have every right to. And that's why, you know, I might be interested in Flesh and Blood. Maybe we do some content. I don't know. I don't I don't own a single Flesh and Blood card, but I have no problem owning one. Um, I have a problem owning MetaZoo. There are plenty of people who email me. Uh, hey, I want to send you these MetaZoo cards. I want to send you this card. I want to send... No. I don't want them. 
I do not want them. In fact, it actually appeared to be that Rudy also had a lot of promos ready to go. And he, the reason he was texting the owner was he wanted to get, like, where, where's the promos? Do you own the promos? Can we get, can I get some more promos? <laughs> you know, to sell to my dumbass Timmy's? Damn, my guys. Damn, it was bad, man. I mean, people be buying this shit for $8,200. I mean, what are you, what are you talking about? $8,200 is half a car, or, or, or I guess a used car. $8,200 is like your entire rent like money. $8,200 is like a really nice vacation to anywhere you want. But but instead you chose to buy Meta Zoo Booster. Not even a lot. I mean, you didn't you don't even own a case. You bought five of them for $8,200. These guys are idiots, man. I mean, whoever is buying this shit is an idiot. Because now the guy selling you the shit has abandoned it. He didn't have a buy list. He was never buying the collection. He still buys Magic Collections, by the way. Because clearly that's the same as Meta Zoo, right? When's the last time you saw him buy a Meta Zoo collection? No, I'm serious. When's the last time you saw the dude buy a Meta Zoo collection? Never. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Anyway, this stuff is pretty bad. But the stuff I have uh, saved up for later is even worse. I didn't even know he was going to say this. He kind of preempted me from actually making the worst videos right i thought he would continue to pump meta zoo for at least another few years uh and then finally admit what he admitted today that like it's just not a good game it's just not feasible i can't imagine uh what argos and them i mean there's only three of them catch them all collectibles argos and nick and strength from nick and strength he's a smart guy and content creator content creator he knows how to make actual content it's just unfortunate that he's doing Meta Zoo and not Pokemon. I think he would be huge as a Pokemon YouTuber. Uh, he's got good stuff. He's got studio. He knows what he, how he's doing. Uh, and he's actually one of the only content creators who's like logical. When things go down, he's not going to tell you they're going up. He's going to tell you they went down. You know? Um, if you th if Arios thinks I'm negative now, just you wait. Because even your dear alpha investments to turn on you mm. so if alpha you know a lot of people listen to him regardless of what you think about him a lot of people listen to him and if he is giving up on meta zoo and it seems you know from his video i don't know why he would make a video like that unless he actually has given up on it then a lot of his supporters will turn on meta zoo that's actually what there was like a peter door guy he had a very interesting live stream now he does pokemon so good for him uh, good wishes on getting subs and stuff because I think you deserve it. You make good quality content, it's just not Meta Zoo content, in my opinion. That's my opinion. But uh, he said it kind of best, and like he can't take it no more. He tried to be positive, ain't nothing to be positive about. And the Meta Zoo people are like, hey, we got the apology letter. Well, Rudy just said, give me a middle finger, and you guys are effed because without Rudy Chan promoting the game, what are you? You guys are left with me. <laughs> Trust me, I, I'm a lot more fun than Rudy Chan. I'm going to tear this game to shreds. Hello Katie at $10 a box.